called The Cherry Proof Shirt. Why can't I remember the title of this book? Oh my gosh. <laughs> And today I'm here with my most anticipated reads for October 2017. I have a total of five books to talk about with you all. I tried to pick the ones that aren't so popular as always because nobody wants to hear the same books over and over again. So without further ado, let us get started. I do have one book that is pretty popular but I am way too excited about it not to mention it. It is Before the Devil Breaks You by Libba Bray and this is the third book in the Diviners series. I have read Diviners and I'm obsessed with it and I haven't read Lair of Dreams yet but I have it. I just have to get to it. But it is a hunger of a book and your girl is busy with life and all that jazz. The third book is supposed to be released on October 3rd, 2017 so it is already out. A lot of people have purchased it. I haven't heard anything about it yet but I am way too excited to get my hands on it. The second book that I have on my most anticipated list for this month is called I Am Watching You and this is by Teresa Driscoll and it is supposed to be released October 1st, 2017. On the train one day, Ella Longfield is listening to a conversation where two men are flirting with two teenage girls. She doesn't really think anything of it until she discovers that the two men have just been released from jail. She wants to call for help but something stops her and then the next day on the news she realizes that a girl has gone missing. This girl's name is Anna and she is one of the girls from the train ride. One year later Ella is still feeling guilty about what happened on the train that day and how she didn't speak up and that's when she begins to receive threatening letters about Anna and this person apparently knows where she is. I just think that it sounds so cool. I love me a kidnap story so I'm pretty excited about this one. The next book I have is called The Ghost Writer by Alexander Torres and this is supposed to be released October 2nd, 2017. I read The Girl in 6E by this author and I absolutely loved it. I haven't finished that series yet but I feel like I would like another one of her books. This one, I'm going to read the synopsis on my phone because like it's really confusing if I tried to explain it. So it says, I have three months to write the last book of my life, three months to confess the details of that day and how it changed everything for me. My name is Helena Rose. I've written 15 romance novels, 10 of which have become international bestsellers. But this one isn't a romance, no happily ever after in place. This novel holds only the truth, which I have run away from for four years. The truth which I have hidden from the police, from my loved ones, from the world. The final book is my confession. Like, whoosh, whoosh, sounds so good to me and I need it in my life and I just think that it's going to be another like the girl in 60s thriller kind of book and I am living for it. The next book I have is called The Other Worlds by Jason Segel and Kristen Miller. This is supposed to come out on Halloween, October 31st, 2017 and I don't really know that much about it other than it follows a boy named Simon who was a delinquent and it has to do with virtual reality somehow. So literally that's all I know about it but I like the cover. It's by Jason Segal so I feel like it could be pretty interesting so I need it in my life. And then the fifth and final book that I have on my list for this month is called Echo After Echo. This is by Amy Rose Capita and it is to be released October 10th, 2017. I actually won a pre-order of this from the Broody Chat on Twitter. So, I have a copy coming to me eventually. I don't know when it's gonna be out here, but I'm very excited about it. This book follows Zara, who has always dreamed of working with this famous director named Leopold Henman. She lands a role in his upcoming play called Echo and Ariston, and he wants her to promise that there will be no distractions during the production. She obviously agrees, and then she meets the assistant lighting director named Ellie and a bunch of mysterious deaths start occurring in the theater. I don't really know anything else other than that and it sounds intriguing. I have a copy of it coming so I'm excited to read it and I'm pretty sure it's like an LGBTQ plus book so we into it. Alright guys, so that was my most anticipated reads for October 2017. I only had five. Honestly, I didn't really find that many that I was like actually intrigued with, which was surprising because I was like, October, thrillers, I'm gonna want to find every single book. But that wasn't the case. Let me know down below what you're excited for in the month of October. And I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!